Hello students! Welcome back to Maestrong Techie YouTube channel. For today's video, you will learn how to predict phenotypic expressions of traits following simple patterns of inheritance. If you want to know more about Mendelian genetics, just keep on watching. Before we proceed, let's have first an unlocking of difficulties. First word, dominant. In genetics, dominant is a term that is used to describe an allele, a gene, or a trait that is expressed. And it is represented by a capital letter, just like our example. On the other hand, we have recessive. It is a gene whose effects are masked in the presence of a dominant gene and represented by a small letter, just like our example. So again, class, dominant are represented by capital letters and recessive are represented by small letters. Next, we have homozygous and heterozygous. An organism that has the same two copies of a gene is what we call homozygous, just like this one. We have dominant homozygous and recessive homozygous. The next one, we have heterozygous. It is an organism that has different copies of a gene for a particular trait, just like our example here. We have a dominant P and a recessive P. They have different copies of a gene. Therefore, this is an example of heterozygous. Again, class, homozygous for the same and heterozygous for different. Next, we have genotype. When we say genotype, it is an organism that has different copies of a gene for a particular trait. For example, we have here homozygous dominant for a purple flower. We have heterozygous dominant B and recessive B for a purple flower. And we have homozygous recessive for a white flower. So these are the examples of genotype. It contains the organism's genetic information. Next, we have phenotype. When we say phenotype, it is the combination of their observable characteristics or traits. For example, the phenotype of this genotype is purple flower. Next, we have the phenotype of this genotype is purple flower. The phenotype of this genotype is white flower. As you can see, phenotype is the physical appearance or the observable physical traits of an organism. Take note of that class. Good job class for enhancing your vocabulary. Take note of those. Now let's continue. Did you know this man? He is Gregor Johann Mendel, an Austrian biologist who developed the law of dominance which states that when an organism is heterozygous for a trait, only the dominant allele will produce a phenotype. Aside from law of dominance, Gregor Johann Mendel also developed the law of segregation. It states that each individual that is a diploid has a pair of alleles for a particular trait. And lastly, we have law of independent assortment. It states that different genes and their alleles are inherited independently within sexually reproducing organisms. Those are the law of inheritance developed by Gregor Johann Mendel. That's why he considered as father of genetics. Did you know that Gregor Johann Mendel used garden peas for his experiments? And these are the characteristics that he tested. He tested for the round or wrinkled form of seeds, he tested for the yellow or green seeds, he tested for a white or purple flower, he tested for a full or constricted form of the pod, he also tested for the yellow or green color of the pod, as well as the actual or terminal position of the flower, and the long or the short size of the stem. These are all the characteristics of pea plants that Gregor Mendel used in his inheritance experiments. Mendel's crosses can be recorded in a chart called Punnett Square. 
The Punnett square helps to predict the overcome of a given cross. It determines the possible combination of genes in a cross. The use of Punnett square can be illustrated by solving actual problems like determining the expected results when two individuals cross. For example, what will be the result if a round seed pea plant is crossed with a wrinkled seed pea plant? Here's how to solve it using Punnett square. First, let us have the genotype of the parents. We have the round seed genotype as dominant R and dominant R, the wrinkled seed genotype as recessive R and recessive R. Here is our Punnett square. First, let us put the genotype of the round seed and the wrinkled seed. And then, let's do the cross. Downward, we have dominant R. And then, sideward, we have the recessive R. So here's how you are So this is how you cross using Punnett square. Now let us determine the genotype and the phenotype of this Punnett square. First, for the genotype, we have here 100% heterozygous dominant R and recessive R. Take note class that each box is equal to 25%. And as you can see, we all have dominant R and recessive R. 25 plus 25 plus 25 plus 25 is equal to 100% heterozygous dominant R and recessive R. Now let us find the phenotype. We have here 100% dominant R, recessive R. What does it mean? Does it mean round seed or wrinkled seed? It means 100% round seed because we have here a dominant allele that is expressed always. Very habit class, that's how you cross using Punnett square. And trivia, the offspring of the parental cross of pure breeding plants are called first filial or F1 generation. When the plants from the F1 generation were crossed with each other or self-pollinated, the offspring will be called F2 or second filial generation. Let's have an example of that. We have the F1 generation flower position genotype, dominant A and recessive A, meaning to say this is actual flower position. Now, let us determine the F2 generation or the second filial generation. Let us have first the Punnett square and then let us write their genotype. We have here the dominant A and recessive A and on the other side, we also have dominant A and recessive A. As usual, we have downwards, we have dominant A, and then recessive A, and then we have sidewards, dominant A, and then recessive A. As you can see here, class, we always write the dominant letter first after the recessive. Take note of that. Now, let us write the genotype of our Punnett square. As you can see, we have here one homozygous dominant A, and that is 25%. What else? We have here dominant A and recessive A, dominant A and recessive A. We have two heterozygous. It means that is 50% heterozygous. And lastly, we have here homozygous recessive A, and that is 25%. Now, let us determine the phenotype. What is the phenotype of 25% homozygous A? This is actual. How about 50%? We have 50% actual. How about this one? We have 25% terminal. We can add these two to have 75% actual flower position and 25% terminal flower position. And that is the answer. And this is an example of F2 or second filial generation. And that's it class. That is how you predict phenotypic expressions of traits following simple patterns of inheritance. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something new for today. Before we end, let's have a shout out. Shout out to Zyra Riverda. Shout out to grade 9 platinum and titanium students of Bayawan City Science and Technology Education Center. Thank you so much for watching. Shout out to RNHS grade 9 Washington. Shout out to Racy from Quezon City. Shout out to Scorpion X underscore. Shout out to Grade 9 Fortitude. Shout out to Mark Justin Jamante. And shout out to Ed Halara 7564. Thank you all so much for watching and see you on our next video. Bye!